sure we will have you holding your Bible and stand here. I just got some gospel. Okay. <laughs> and yeah, then the you take your seat. Oh. You take our seat. You take okay. your seat after that. After you're going stand, in, you take stand your photo. Okay. Here? Yeah. You, oh, no, you okay. take your, you know, your picture. Okay. Then you go here. Can hear you guys. Can all board members elect? All board members elect, please take your seats. All board members elect and board members of the Board of Education, please take your seat. <laughs> Erica, my fault. I had because I was in a session. I had turned off my volume.
and appointed board members for the Prince George's County Board of Education. I am Erica Barry Wilson, Executive Director of the Prince George's County Board of Education. I would like to thank each and every one of you, our, our elected officials, our family, and our friends for coming out tonight for this joyous occasion. Um, before we continue with the program, I want to first acknowledge our board chair, Dr. Sagoon Eubanks, who could not be with us this evening. However, he has joined us virtually, um, and he wanted to give some a brief remarks before we continue on with our program. So I'll yield the floor to Dr. Eubanks. Good evening. First, I hope, can, I, can everyone hear me okay? Wonderful. Good evening. Uh, I certainly do wish that I could be there uh, in person uh, for this uh, important and joyous occasion. Um, but I want to make sure that I congratulated uh, each and every one of our incoming board members and returning board members for taking on this incredibly uh, important and humbling task uh, of serving Prince George's County Public Schools and, uh, and the talented uh, uh, students and families we serve every day. Uh, I just note quickly that um, actually the reason that I couldn't be there, there is I'm in Dallas uh, at a conference called Learning Forward. Learning Forward is um, the preeminent organization for professional learning for teachers and principals and school administrators uh, across the country and the world. And I mention it just because of the great work that Prince George's County Public Schools does and how they represent us nationally and internationally. And we're here because Prince George's County Public Schools has great partnerships like uh, uh, the one with OTD, the Office of Talent Development, that uh, is part of something called PD Redesign, uh, which is a, a small group of districts across the country looking at new and different ways to improve professional learning for teachers. Uh, and I'm representing a group that's working with Prince George's County, Dorchester County, the Maryland State Department of Education, Learning Forward, um, uh, and, uh, and others to improve the quality of the teaching of science uh, and next generation science standards uh, for teachers throughout Maryland. So I say all that just to say, uh, incoming board members, that we do so much good in the system and so many things that, we're, uh, that are examples to the rest of the country that we often don't hear much about, even as board members, frankly, we uh, were presented with a lot of challenges and problems, but I, I implore you as you join us to continue to find and spread the good word of the work that we do. I know you'll do it well. Um, I thank you again on behalf of parents like myself uh, and on behalf of citizens uh, and welcome to the Board of Education. Thank, the, thank you, Dr. Urank, thanks for those remarks. Um, again, we would like to thank our special guests, family members and friends of those being sworn in this evening, members of the administration, Dr. Goldson, Christian Rhodes, and members of the public for your presence this evening. Additionally, we would like to thank our elected officials and dignitaries who are also present this evening. I have Mr. John Richardson of Democratic Central Committee representing District 25. Gary Mobley, Chief Deputy of the Clerk of the Circuit Court. <laughs> Judge Ingrid Turner. <laughs> Retired Judge El Amin. <laughs> Former Vice Chair of the Board of Education, Mr. Owen Johnson. Delegate Michael Jackson representing District 27. He's also the chair of the Prince George's County House of Delegates. <laughs> Delegate Daryl Barnes representing District 25. <laughs> Delegate Susan Proctor representing District 27. <laughs> and we have our county executive, Ms. Angela Also Brooks. At this time, I will yield the floor to Ms. Alsobrooks for some brief remarks. Good evening, everyone. Uh, I'm really honored to be here tonight. I want to begin by saying congratulations and thank you uh, to all of our board members, uh, uh, newly elected, re-elected, and appointed, uh, soon to be appointed. want to say congratulations to each of you and thank you so much uh, for your hard work and your perseverance and for your service. Uh, I'm really honored to be here tonight, and I won't speak terribly long. Uh, what I have to say to you is I am here quite simply uh, because of two things. 
Uh, I am here because of my education and the village uh, that was there to ensure that I could be successful. And I have to tell you that because of those things, I am obsessed with the children of Prince George's County. I'm obsessed with their education. I'm obsessed with the village that we build around them. Uh, and I know that you feel the same way. And so I am so looking forward uh, to working with you all to ensure that our children get the very best that they deserve from us. The, the most profound obligation of government is to educate its children. And I am really looking forward to working with each of you, to working with our CEO, Monica Golson. Dr. Golson, I have to tell you, has done a fabulous job. Uh, I've been really, really <laughs> enjoying working with her. Uh, and I'm looking forward to working with each of you. I understand that the business, uh, business of educating children, first of all, um, belongs to the community. Each of us has a role to play. The county executive has a role to play. The Board of Education has a role to play. Uh, Dr. Goltz and our county council, it is the obligation of our entire community to educate its children. Uh, what I will say is that this business is complex. Um, I think back to my time in high school uh, when I was a ninth grader, my school required each of us to volunteer in the community. Uh, it was called community service hours, that we got community lab hours. And I was assigned to an elementary school uh, very close to my high school. And I went over to that school, and I was um, very, very bright-eyed and, and optimistic about what I would find. I was so excited to join a combination first, second grade class. Uh, and I would go there each Wednesday to volunteer. Well, on my first visit to this school, I sat my book bag down, I started interacting with these beautiful kids uh, and talking to them and helping them. And when the day was over, I grabbed my bag and went out to the bus stop. And I realized once I got to the bus stop that one of the angels in the classroom had stolen my wallet um, and that I could not get on the bus. And that, that particular um, situation really stuck with me. Really, it stuck with me for a lifetime because it reminded me that as brilliant as those kids were, they had obviously been exposed very early to things that would trouble them, that would hamper them, and that the education of children has to be comprehensive. It's not just what happens in the classroom that becomes critical to their success. It's what happens to their families. It's what happens in their communities that very often either allows them to succeed or causes them to decline. Uh, and so this is the role that we have. This is the job that we have is to make sure that we're not only providing for our children a first-rate education in the classroom, but my solemn obligation uh, and solemn promise to you is that you have a government that is also likewise committed to ensuring that our children have what they need in their homes, that their parents and families will have access um, to the full body of, uh, of resources that we have in the government, because the truth of it is children who are hungry, children who are not well-rested, children who are at home at night watching somebody beat somebody else cannot learn. Uh, and so it will be important for us to, um, to work together to ensure that not only the children thrive, but that their families thrive as well. Um, and so again, I want to thank you for the role that you play, uh, ensuring that what happens in the classroom is comprehensive, that our kids have an opportunity to compete against the best and brightest without respect for their zip code, without respect for whether or not their parents were educated. This is the obligation that we have. I'll tell you one last story. Uh, and then I, I'll, I'll yield. I know you didn't invite me to talk all night long, but it reminds me um, that I had an opportunity all these years later when we talk about the complexities of education to visit Sylvania, Judge Sylvania Woods Elementary School. I uh, visited there this spring and, uh, and was invited to talk to a young mentoring group, a group of young girls who were so beautiful. Uh, these girls, I believe, were between the ages of 8 and 10, uh, and they have a GEMS group. It's Girls Empowered to Meet Success or something along those lines. And when I got into that classroom uh, that evening to talk to the kids, it was after school, uh, there was one girl who stuck out to me, and she was absolutely gorgeous. Um, I looked at her, and I could see on her poverty. I could see it in her clothing. I could see that her hair was disheveled. But the other thing that I could see is he, she sat up straight. She looked me in the eye. Every question, her hand popped up. She was so brilliant. And what I came to understand about her is she didn't even understand her poverty, but I did. And she ought to have the same opportunity that I had growing up in Prince George's County to be well-educated, to experience all that life had to offer. That is our responsibility, is ensuring that when I looked at that bright young girl and I understood just by looking what obstacles she faced, 
that's our responsibility as much as educa educating her in the classroom. So again, uh, the task is one that is, uh, I believe, a heavy burden in some ways um, because it means everything, everything to our children. Uh, again, I am obsessed with it. I know that you are as well, and I just thank you so much um, for your care. Thank you for lending us your expertise and your experience, for your perspective. I think together we will do great. Together we will do great. The, and I'll say this last thing. The thing I promise you uh, is that we are at the starting line of transformational leadership. It's what you ask for, and I tell you it is my solemn um, mission every day to offer that to you. So thank you so much uh, for having me tonight, and I look forward to working together. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Austin Brooks, for those wonderful remarks. Um, we also had a couple of other dignitaries and elected officials join us this evening. Uh, Mr. Colin Bird from the Greenbelt City Council. <laughs> and Faye Ho, or how, excuse me for the pronunciation, from the Dis Democratic Central Committee District 24. <laughs> so on to the part of the program that we've all been waiting for, um, the, the swearing in ceremony. Um, the following board members will be sworn in this evening. Mr. Joshua Thomas, newly elected school board member for District 2. <laughs> Ms. Pamela Boozer Struther, newly elected school board member for District 3. <laughs> Ms. Belinda Queen, newly elected school board member District 6. Mrs. Sonia Williams, re-elected school board member for District 9. And Mr. D. Paul Montero, Jr., newly appointed school board member. At this time, Ms. Mahasani, Mahasan, I'm sorry, I apologize. Mahasan Amin, clerk of circuit court, will administer the oath of office. Um, just to inform everyone the process, we will administer the oath to each member individually, um, and then we will ask those board, newly sworn in board members to take their seats here at the dais. Um, and once we do that, we will then yield the floor to those board members for remarks. So, Ms. Amin, I'll yield to you. Mr. Thomas. And we invite all family members and friends of Mr. Joshua Thomas to please come forward. We still got more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got the whole all. Yeah, got, 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 got the whole all. No, yeah, that's fine. It's just, it's, yeah, it's fine. I just have, just need to come, come in and see if we get them all in the picture. <laughs> I might actually have her go out of the way. Okay, come back. Let's have her. I, I, state your name, Joshua M. Thomas, do solemnly swear, do solemnly swear, that I will support the Constitution of the United States, that I will support the Constitution of the United States, and that I will be faithful, and that I will be faithful, and bear true allegiance, and bear true allegiance, to the state of Maryland, to the state of Maryland, 
and support the Constitution and support the Constitution and laws thereof and laws thereof and that I will support and that I will support the charters and laws the charters and laws of Prince George's County of Prince George's County and that I will and that I will to the best of my skill and judgment to the best of my skill and judgment diligently and di faithfully diligently and faithfully without partiality or prejudice without partiality or prejudice execute the office of execute the office of board member for the board of education board member for the board of education for Prince George's County for Prince George's County according to the Constitution according to the Constitution and laws of this state and laws of this state and the charter and the charter and laws and laws of Prince George's County of Prince George's County congratulations thank you very much Miss Pamela Bruger Strother, please. I, I, Pamela Boozer Struther, do solemnly swear, do solemnly swear that I will support the Constitution of the United States, that I will support the Constitution of the United States, and that I will, and that I will be faithful, be faithful, and bear true allegiance, and bear true allegiance to the state of Maryland, to the state of Maryland, and that I, excuse me, and support the Constitution and laws thereof and support the Constitution and laws thereof. And that I will, and that I will, support the charter, support the charter, and laws of Prince George's County, and laws of Prince George's County. And that I will, and that I will, to the best of my skill, to the best of my skill, and judgment, and judgment, diligently and faithfully, diligently and faithfully, without partiality or prejudice, without partiality or prejudice, execute the office, execute the office, of board member for board of education as board member for board of education for Prince George's County for Prince George's County according to the constitution according to the constitution and laws of this state and laws of this state and the charter and the charter and laws and laws of Prince George's County of Prince George's County congratulations <laughs>
Ms. Belinda Queen. Put your, you're going to put your left hand on the Bible and raise your right hand. I, no, it is not. It does not. And so am I. Okay. Are we all here? Did everyone come? Are we good? Okay. Ready? I. I, Belinda Queen. Do solemnly swear do solemnly swear that I will support the Constitution of the United States that I will support the Constitution of the United States and that I will be faithful and that I will be faithful and bear true allegiance and bear true allegiance to the state of Maryland to the state of Maryland and support the Constitution and support the Constitution and laws thereof and laws thereof and that I will support the charter and that I will support the charter and laws and laws of Prince George's County of Prince George's County and that I will and that I will to the best of my skill to the best of my skill and judgment and judgment diligently and faithfully diligently and faithfully without partiality or prejudice without partiality or prejudice execute the office of execute the office of Board member for Board of Education. Board member for Board of Education. For Prince George's County. For Prince George's County. According to the Constitution. According to the Constitution. And laws of this state. And laws of this state. And the Charter. And the Charter. And laws. And laws. Of Prince George's County. Of Prince George's County. Congratulations. Yes. This is a special moment for me. This is the highlight of my day, that I get to swear in my sister to the school board, Sonia Williams.
I, I, Sonia William, do solemnly swear, do solemnly swear, that I will support the Constitution of the United States, that I will support the Constitution of the United States, and that I will, and that I will, be faithful, be faithful, and bear true allegiance, and bear true allegiance to the state of Maryland, to the state of Maryland, and support the Constitution, and support the Constitution, and laws thereof, and laws thereof, and that I will support, and that I will support, the charter, the charter, and laws, and laws, of Prince George's County, of Prince George's County, and that I will, and that I will, to the best of my skill, to the best of my skill, and judgment, and judgment, diligently and faithfully, diligently and faithfully, without partiality or prejudice, without partiality or prejudice, execute the office of, execute the office of, board member for Board of Education, board member for Board of Education, for Prince George's County, for Prince George's County, according to the Constitution, according to the Constitution, and laws, and laws, of this state, of this state, and the Charter, and the Charter, and laws, and laws, of Prince George's County, of Prince George's County. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Hey! <laughs> I, I, Paul Montero, do solemnly swear, do solemnly swear, that I will support the Constitution, that I will support the Constitution of the United States, of the United States, and that I will be faithful, that I will be faithful, and bear true allegiance, and bear true allegiance to the state of Maryland, to the state of Maryland. 
and support the Constitution. And support the Constitution. And laws thereof. And laws thereof. And that I will support the charter. And that I will support the charter. And laws of. And laws of. Prince George's County. Prince George's County. And that I will. And that I will. To the best of my skill. To the best of my skill. And judgment. And judgment. Diligently and faithfully. Diligently and faithfully. Without partiality or prejudice. Without partiality or prejudice. Execute the office of. Execute the office of. Board member for Board of Education. Board member for the Board of Education. For Prince George's County. For Prince George's County. According to the Constitution. According to the Constitution. And laws of this state. And laws of this state. And the charter. And the charter. And laws. And laws. Of Prince George's County. Of Prince George's County. Congratulations. Thank you very much. <laughs> Now, today is Crystal's birthday. Let's just oh, celebrate. Thanks, Ms. Amin. And again, let's send out congratulations to all our newly sworn in board members. Okay, we could do a little bit better than that. These are the people who are representing the interests of our children of Prince George's County. other dignitaries and elected officials who have joined us and, and, and again I, we apologize for the oversight um, we have Mayor Grant from the um, city of Seat Pleasant <laughs> Mr. Sean Malden mayor of the Capitol Heights we have the county council member representing District 6 De Derek Leon Davis uh, we have the vice chair of the Democratic Central Committee Ms. Teresa Dudley and former member of the Democratic Central Committee, Ms. Latasha Ward. So on behalf of the Board of Education, I would like to take a moment to thank County Executive Angela Alsabrooks, all of our elected officials, Ms. Amin and the Office of the Clerk of the Circuit Court, PGCPS Administration, and members of the audience for taking time out of your busy schedules to join us this evening. Um, and again, we just want to say congratulations to all our newest members. I know that our current members are eagerly looking forward to working with you. And actually, before we dismiss, we're going to ask all our current board members and our newly sworn in board members to take one picture um, with our county executive as well and Dr. Monica Golson. So if we can ever have everyone gather in the well for that picture, that would be great. Thank you.
So again, on behalf of the Prince George's County Board of Education, I want to thank each and every one of you for coming out and celebrating our newly sworn in board members. We are so excited with what we have to come in this county and working together um, to improve our school system for our children because it is it does take a village as Ms. Also Brooks has mentioned and we're so excited about what's to come. So again, I thank each and every one of you for coming out. Uh, we do invite our board members and immediate family members to join us in the back for a reception um, for our other audience. Oh, I'm, thank you. I'm so sorry. I apologize. I'm moving along so fast. I apologize, definitely. Um, we would like to get brief remarks from our newly sworn in members. Again, newly sworn in members, charge it to my mind and not my heart. I apologize. Um, and we will start first with Mr. Paul Montero. We have about three minutes for your remarks. Thank you so much. Well, thank you very much for having me. I'm excited to serve. I have to thank our county executive for giving me the opportunity to give back to a system that gave a lot to me. I'm a proud alum of the Prince George's County Public School System. It was great to me. Adelphi Elementary, Buck Lodge Middle, and High Point High School. Had some wonderful teachers. Um, and as much as I love the system, I think part of love is being honest. And the challenges that face the system when I was a student, some of them are still with us. Um, I'm not interested in pontificating. I'm not interested in assigning blame. I'm interested in working with everybody to say, how do we move forward uh, and make this county the best it can be? I've been blessed to serve uh, in jobs that let me see the rest of the country. Um, and we are a great place to live. And people need to know that about Prince George's County. Um, and in the same breath, I would say, I've seen other places do things that I think we would do well to emulate and, and borrow um, and modify for our own needs. Um, and also share some of the innovations that we've come up with here with the rest of the country. So I just take that opportunity, having seen the rest of the country, not because I'm smart, but because God is good and had a great foundation that was laid here in this county, to use those experiences, hopefully share and add value to this board, uh, to make the, the system the best it can be. Because I talked a lot about on the campaign trail, uh, the challenge the country faces with, we are tracking a generation of young people uh, to, to poor outcomes um, across the country. And the educational system is the way to stop that. Um, it was my way out to have more of an opportunity than my parents had. Um, so I just look forward to breaking that prison, to, to the drop out to prison pipeline, dealing with some of the perennial challenges, and, and adding value again to a system that gave me everything. So thank you very much for the chance to serve. Mm -hmm. Ms. Belinda Queen. Okay, got it. I want to first start to saying to God be all the glory <laughs> for the things he have done. Um, I want to first thank my moms, who I love and appreciate so dear. To my family, thank you for putting up with me for the last year and a half, especially to my girls. They had to give up a lot of tennis shoes on this campaign, and I thank you for that. I truly thank you to the community. Thank you so very much for your support and for believing in me. I will stand up, I will speak up, and I will work hard to move Prince George's County forward. To my ride or die partners, the Andrews, I love you. I love you very much. My ride or die partners out in the community. Um, I want to say to Mayor Malden, to my campaign manager, thank you so, so very much. He worked really hard on my image, and it took a lot. And it took a lot for me to hold my mouth. But thank you so very much um, for that. To Mayor Grant, to Delegate Barnes, to Latasha Ward, and Faye Martin Howell, and I can go on. Thank you guys for having my back, for being there for me. To my cousin John Richardson, I love you. Family over everything, no matter what, but I love you. And I just want to say that I will work hard. To Angela, thank you for being here. Thank you for the calls. I appreciate it. Thank you for reaching out for me. We will work together hard to move Prince George's County forward, even though I think a little different from my colleague, because I was born and raised here. This has always been a great county, always been a great school system. We don't need nothing for nobody else. We have it right here, and we will continue to show people that we have it. We just need to take the time to invest into our schools, to invest into our kids, and to let everybody know the greatness that we have right here in Prince George's County. Thank you. Mr. Joshua Thomas. Good evening, everyone. 
Uh, I want to start by briefly giving a, 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 telling a quick story about where this whole campaign came from and how we got here today. Um, in November of 2016, uh, a good friend of mine, David Murray, who's now my colleague on the board, uh, asked me to help to get uh, Rahila Ahmed elected to the Board of Education. I worked at the polls for her at the Bowie Annex on election day, and it was my very first time being a part of any campaign of any sort. Um, I'll have you know that I never ran for student government, um, and, and this is my very first run for political office, which was now successful. Um, and it was my experience working for Rahila that day, though we got some unfortunate news about our presidential election, I was very, very excited about the opportunity to have uh, helped another young progressive candidate win a seat on the school board. And that was where the seed was planted. Uh, a few months later, I told my, my dear friend David Murray that I was frustrated that there were nine elected school board members and only one of them was a teacher. And I myself taught in the classroom for a few years and I felt that we needed more teachers making the decisions that affect schools and students. What a crazy concept. And, 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 and David looked at me and said, are you serious? Are you sure you wanna do this? And I said, I'm sure. And uh, now fast forward, here we are. I'm so excited to be able to join my new colleagues on the Board of Education, as well as current sitting board members to really do some meaningful things here in the, in the county. I wanna now just take a brief moment uh, to thank a few people in particular. First, I would like to thank the over 13,000 voters of District 2 who overwhelmingly supported me in this election. Thank you all very, very much. I'd like to also thank our county executive. I'm so excited to work with you and our CEO, Dr. Goldson. I'm looking very forward to working with both of you. I'd also now like to thank my teachers, administrators, classmates, and fellow friends and parents of Eleanor Roosevelt High School. I get the amazing opportunity to represent my own high school on the Board of Education. I'd also like to thank the community that raised and uh, really groomed me, the Martha Ma Church of Greater Washington, as well as the Martha Ma Church Diocese of North America and Europe. They have played an amazing and incredible role in my development and I'd like to thank them. In particular, I'd like to thank our, um, our current vicar, Reverend Anu Uman, who is here this evening. I'd now also like to take a moment to thank my best friends and brothers who are here supporting me Kevin John, Stephen George, Justin Jacob, Nevin Thungachin. I appreciate all of your help and support through the years and your friendship. And I'd also like to take a moment to acknowledge one of my very best friends who is not here this evening, Christina Chaco. She supported me throughout this entire campaign, uh, both morally and in person. And I'd also now use this opportunity to acknowledge her parents who are like my own parents, uh, Mr. Chaco Daniel and Ms. Rosama Chaco. Now I know my thank you list is long here. I'm, I'm, I'm towards the second half, I'm at the second half, okay? <laughs> Since I'm talking about second parents, I have to acknowledge a few other second parents here in the room. And so I would be remiss if I did not acknowledge Mr. PK and Ms. Susan Paulos, uh, Mr. Sonny and Sissy Jacob, uh, Mr. Jacob and Betty Verghese, Mr. Samuel and Ms. Kunyama Samuel. Thank you all for playing such an important role in grooming me to the young man that I've become today. And now I'd like to thank my new colleagues on the Board of Education, especially my dear friends, Mr. Edward Burroughs, Ms. Rahila Ahmed, and Mr. David Murray. Thank you all very much. And lastly, a few people who played an important role in this campaign, Mr. Shakur Ahmed, who has not only, yes, yeah, yes, yes. who has not only served as a mentor, but an advisor, and a strategist throughout this entire campaign. Thank you for all of your help. I'd also like to thank Ms. Jacqueline Murray. Ms. Jacqueline Murray is the mother of David Murray, but is might as well be my own mother with the <laughs> amount of time that she put into this campaign. So thank you, Ms. Murray. Okay, I'm at the last line of my thank yous, I promise. Um, I'd now like to thank my immediate family who have been supporting me this entire process. My sister, Varsha Thomas, who is a teacher and who inspired me to go into the classroom. Thank you, Varsha. Mm -hmm. My father, Dr. Matthew T. Thomas, who is now no longer more popular than I am. <laughs> My mother, Nancy Thomas, who came out and knocked on doors with me almost every single day wearing that Joshua M. Thomas t-shirt 
writing notes on people's cards when they weren't there to answer. I'm so, so grateful for all of your help and support, Mom and Papa, and I look forward to representing you both well. And last but very not least, I must acknowledge my two late grandparents who could not be here to see this special day. My grandfather, who I grew up with my entire life. Uh, Mr. T.J. Thomas, who played such an important role in my upbringing. And my grandmother, Eliama Thomas. I know that they're looking down on, upon me uh, very proud. And so I'm excited to represent all of my friends and family on the Board of Education. Thank you for this opportunity. I look forward to serving with all of you. Thank you. Ms. Pamela Boozer-Strother, good, e good evening, everyone, and thank you so much. Uh, today, such a joyous day in Prince George's County when we started the day at the inauguration of Angela Alsabrooks, the first female exec county executive for Prince George's County. <laughs> Angela, at the beginning of this campaign season, you set a pace and you set a vision for children and I am so honored to be in this room with you this evening to be your partner in that work. To, uh, to the voters of District 3, I thank you for your trust in me. Uh, to my family, to Margaret and Kyle, uh, the pace that we've been on for the past year, I can't thank you enough for all your support um, and patience in being there every day to support this campaign. To my campaign team, my, my dearest friends that became throughout District 3 an incredible family of supporters t focused on our children, focused on equity in education, focused on moving Prince George's County public schools forward. And I look forward to working with all of the parents in our schools, focused on our children and our PTAs, and, es and especially uh, working in collaboration with this this board of incredibly dedicated and smart people. It's been so great to get to know so many of you during this campaign and now, now that I'm seated with you. Um, and to Dr. Goldson, uh, you have led us through uh, an incredibly smooth transition. You have listened to teachers, to parents, to the community on priorities, and I look forward to supporting you and your continued work and your, your staff. So thank you to everyone uh, for being here this evening and I, I look forward to our work together. So now we actually get to the end. <laughs> oh, Sonia. Sonia. I apologize, Miss Sonia Williams. <laughs> thank you, Miss Erica. I want to thank God for putting me in this seat, and I want to start with a story that most people may not have ever heard me tell. I remember sitting in the car as I was the assistant chief of purchasing in Charles County, asking God, what was I doing in that seat? Being a civil engineer who built um, the international terminal, I was a part of that project management team, the international terminal of BWI, who've worked on many projects around the nation. I was there as Assistant Chief of Purchasing in Charles County. It was 2008, right after the economic downfall. And I was there because I had a child who was born nine weeks early. I was running a nonprofit that at that time grants dried up, so I had to work for someone else. And so I sat there and I asked God, what was I doing here? When I fast forward to 2014 and I took over the seat to represent District 9, I realized that all the work that I had done, learning government, learning community development, building everything, I built airports, roads, houses, apartment buildings, office buildings, I use all of that education here. So when I took the oath today and it said, use your skills and best judgment, I bring all of that to this seat to make decisions for the best in Prince George's County Public Schools. I'm an alumni of Prince George's County Public Schools, District 8, but I represent District 9 where we rock. And everyone knows that I say that 
not because we're always successful there in District 9 or in Prince George's County, but we have a lot of success that we can brag about in Prince George's County. And if we show people what we're accomplishing, then more people will strive to meet that, that success. So when I talk about how great we're doing here in Prince George's County, it's not to forget about those that we have to work on, it's to remind people that we're moving in the right direction. We're doing the work every day. And so when I sit here in this seat and represent District 9 and make decisions for the entire Prince George's County Public Schools, I bring skills, education, and experience to help us move this forward. And I appreciate all of my board members who sit here today and the skills and education and judgment that they bring. I look forward to working with them and making decisions to move us forward and continue to move us forward. I appreciate Dr. Golson for stepping into the seat when we had, we're, we were overcoming a lot of trying times, but she took it and she, she is running with it. Your staff is so supportive. I appreciate all the hard work that they do every single day, every single day. And I also appreciate the charge and the energy and the, the inspiration that you have placed on us, County Executive Angela Also Brooks. I appreciate that. So I wanna thank my parents for giving me all that they have to make sure that all seven of us, including my younger sister, is successful all the sacrifices that they have made. I appreciate my husband who is here on his birthday <laughs> and taking his time, you know, we should be celebrating him, at least I should be celebrating him, but he's here to support me and I appreciate him so much for all the sacrifices that he has made over the last five years. And my son who's in the audience, I appreciate him because there was a lot of mommy guilt during the summer and so we're gonna make up for that. Um, so I just wanna thank everyone who's here to support what we do here in Prince George's County. It is not me, it is not us, it's all of us working together as a team to make sure that we're successful here in Prince George's County Public Schools. Thank you. So I would like to thank each and every one of our guests for coming out this evening. As I mentioned earlier, we will we do have a reception in the back. Um, we are first inviting our board members and their immediate family to join us in that reception in the back. And then we will have board staff assistants who will be able to um, escort other members as we allow our board members and their family members to be served first. Again, I want to thank each and every person for coming out this evening. And everyone have a safe um, trip home. Thank you so much.